Hello everybody, welcome back to Exotic Astrology and today we are going to discuss something very important, something which is based on the fundamentals of astrology and I had asked this question to one of my preceptors and I had some beautiful answers so today I will be sharing. So the topic of the video is what exactly Jupiter is? What exactly? I mean they say Jupiter is this, it, it is that because Jupiter is a very weird planet. Oh my god, <laughs> Rahu was a weird planet, right? But what about Jupiter? How is it a weird planet? I will tell you how is it weird, alright? Actually it's not weird but its significations are weird. Actually it's still not weird. I will explain it to you how it's not weird even after it is appearing to be weird sometimes okay so there you go if you are new to the channel and if you have not yet subscribed then please subscribe to it and if you like this video click the thumbs up at the end and if you want a consultation and if you want to know if your Jupiter is behaving <laughs> beautifully or it is retrograde or it's behaving weird <laughs> then you can go to my website and you can book a reading you will find the link of the website in the description of the video below all right and because this video is on Jupiter, so today I must say God is there with you all the time. Just look to Him, and you will find Him. Now, what, what, what do you mean? What do I mean when I say Jupiter is a weird planet? It means that it is signifying contradictory houses, which means that it is the significant. Significator means we all know, right? It means Karakas. Karakas. It is the Karaka for the second house fifth house seventh house ninth house eleventh house five houses and some people say it is also the karaka for the tenth house but generally they take these five houses all right and some people also say education is fourth house so it's like so many houses are signified by this plant but if you see that the second house which is the house of family, wealth, prosperity, children. Yes, children are also seen from the second house. Not only the fifth house because they are the combined wealth, combined asset of the entire family. If you see the second house and the ninth house, they are not very well placed. Which means that the ninth house is considered to be a dustana because it is eighth from the second house. This is one example. And apart from this, if you see the nakshatras which Jupiter rules, you will see that Jupiter rules which nakshatras? It rules the nakshatra of Punarvasu. So if you see Punarvasu nakshatra and all the other Jupiter ruled nakshatras, you will see that their first three padas come in air signs and then the last pada will go to water sign for example take the uh, case of Vishaka so for Vishaka and Purva Bhadar Pada also for Vishaka the first three Padas are in Libra and then the fourth Pada is in Scorpio and then for Purva Bhadar Pada also it is the same Aquarius three Padas and fourth Pada is in the sign of Pisces so the, w w what do you what what does it mean actually I mean a planet which is ruling the second house of money is also ruling the ninth house of religion a planet which is ruling the I mean not ruling I mean it's the Karaka it is a planet which is the Karaka for the fifth house which shows children it will also show mantras it is also the Karaka for the eleventh house which is the house of mundane materialistic gains I mean what's going on man <laughs> have you ever thought of it sometimes yes no <laughs> and how in the universe is the nakshatras 75 percent is falling in the air signs which shows all mundane materialistic happiness yes sexuality enjoyment meeting people dating all these things yes it is also the karaka for the seventh house seventh house shows your relationships and then again the seventh house is a dustana from the second house <laughs> so it's very contradictory you see how can one planet signify so many things which are contradictory 
I mean, they are not contradictory in an absolute sense, but it seems that these houses are not in line. For example, the eleventh house is the house of fulfillment of desires, and then ninth house is the house of spirituality. Now you can say, oh, spiritual desires are also one form of desires. That is true. That's absolutely true. But generally, when we say about the eleventh house, we do not mean spirituality there. Generally, we we I I mean to say, generally we take it for materialistic success, prosperity, and Jupiter also. It is the karaka for expansion. Yes, wherever it sits, it they say that that house expands because. Jupiter shows marriage. So what happens when you when you get married? From one you become two, then from two you become four. <laughs> yes, the wife, the girl gets a new family altogether. The husband also gets connected to the family of the wife. So it's like expanding. You see, from one it's becoming hundred, and then it is also the karaka for spirituality. How that is happening? So the answer is very simple. That. Jupiter, because see, Ju Jupiter, they say it shows abundance and prosperity in general, and it is also the karaka for spirituality. And generally, people think these two are opposites, which means that sometimes people have this con uh, conviction or this conception, I would say rather, that uh, many times when people they have some shock materially, shock means some very strong reversal which they have. Suppose somebody died or they had a breakup or a divorce or they are fired from job <laughs> or they failed in an exam then they go to god yes even lord krishna says in the gita that four types of people no how many types let me see you can write in the comments artho jigyasu artharthi gyani cha bharatar shabha oh best of the bharatas four categories of people come to me please write in the comments if you know who are the four categories okay so generally it is seen that most of the people they will turn to god very seriously only when there is some trauma you see otherwise generally people are very happy sitting in their home seeing football seeing big boss seeing serials <laughs> they also occasionally keep going to god but sincere souls who are happy in their material life also who go to god for very serious spiritual purposes are very rare you can see it in your community you will find you will find very the number will be very less so sp basically what jupiter is trying to tell us is look i will give you all the material prosperity i will give you children i will give you marriage for women it is the karaka for husband and for everybody else it is the karaka for children <laughs> so jupiter is telling that look i will give you all the good things which you can want materially okay which means i will give you home women husband children car all these things i'll give you but that is not my main reason purpose you see <laughs> my main purpose is there in the moksha house the fourth pada of these three nakshatras of jupiter they fall in the water signs so it's like saying 75% of jupiter is material prosperity all the good things in life sweet is uh, is represented by jupiter mitha <laughs> that is why when jupiter is afflicted people can suffer from diabetes because they are uh, not uh, they are not feeling that happiness inside so they are eating too much of that and because venus sacrifices pancreas it will hit the pancreas very badly all right so if jupiter or venus is afflicted in the chart very badly i am saying then it can happen that the person can have diabetes anyways so good speech na as in hindi they say meetha bolne wala <laughs> all these things are represented by jupiter all all good things anything good achievements awards recognition name fame all these things are shown by jupiter although sun is the also the planet which shows your name and fame but jupiter is more of that event which happens you got 10 out of 10 in an exam everybody appreciated you that is jupiter yes but then what is the moksha house is telling us and it also gets exalted in the in another uh, this water sign you see it gets exalted in cancer 
it doesn't get exalted in Sagittarius it doesn't get exalted in any other house also I mean house in the sense that if you take cancer as the fourth house originally and of course it gets directional strength in the first house so basically Jupiter is trying to tell us that look I will give you all the prosperity whatever you want depending on the placement and other th other uh, areas of the horoscope obviously I will give you whatever you want <laughs> all the materialistic happiness I will give you but that's not my main aim my main aim is to give you spiritual knowledge why is it the uh, significator of the sec second house why because it's the significator of money no that is not the reason second house is the house primarily of sanskar our values primarily it is the house of our values so that means that when we are talking of jupiter being the significator of the second house apart from being the significator of money and family and stored wealth and stored assets it is primarily signifying our values our value system what do we value in life because we will only appreciate that which we value should we should i repeat we only appreciate that which we value and what we appreciate that decides our company if he, if a person values drinking very much then he or she will only stay with people who are drinking and by that they will destroy their own lives if a person is valuing watching pornography then that person will also have friends who are watching pornography as they say that show me the five closest people that you associate with and i will tell you who you are if a person values reading sensual novels like for example anyways change the topic then the person will always be attracted to those type of members of the opposite sex because that's the frequency where he's operating because they say that you attract who you are not what you desire should i repeat you attract who you are not what you desire if a person is all the time thinking of money 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 <laughs> then the person will also attract other friends who are like that there you see now 11th house of friends associations connections network circles and if you take so now in if you take the case of second house what jupiter is trying to tell us that look you take money <laughs> you, you don't have to go to forest you take money you enjoy you and you take all the material comforts but make sure you put good things yes because second house is also the house of speech listen to the guru listen to the word of the scriptures go to the satsang program speak about god consciousness to others by that your life will improve all right and when it talks of 11th house it is also talking of associations that you have materialistic desires no problem but you should also have spiritual desires and how do you cultivate that spiritual desires it's very simple oh no it's not very simple easier said than done but we can at least try how do you do that we try to chant mantras every day in the morning or in the evening whatever your guru has suggested and then we try to listen to different stotrams for example vishnu sahasranam is there then we can listen to brahma samhita venum konanta maravinda dalaya taksham varahavatam samasitam buddha sundarangam lakshmi sahastra sat sambrama sevyamanam govinda madi purusham tamaham bajami yasya sada sakale indri avrte manti anyways <laughs> change the topic <laughs> so when we understand the shlokas and the meanings and then we also read scriptures like the gita where lord krishna says sarva dharman parityajya mame kam sharanam raja aham tvam sarva papebhyo mokshayishyami ma suchaha yes mahatmanastu mam partha daivim prakriti maashritam bhajanti ananya manaso gyatva bhutadi mavyayam and then we come to the shivad bhagavatam where we read shlokas like etacham sakala pumsam krishnastu bhagavan aswayam when we read all these then we will understand that what kind of things we should appreciate and value so there you see how jupiter is signifying second house 11th house and then we go to satsang programs where we can meet people who are speaking about god we should go and sit there i made a video 
i think two two weeks back on 10 things to do in a satsang just type in my channel s a t s a n g if you are a christian you can still type it you also keep having these meets yes in the church i have seen here in europe <laughs> even if you are a muslim you will also have so many gatherings in your masjid or wherever you go so you can also watch that video when you go to a satsang program ask questions to the uh, to the speaker yes ask them about god and about spirituality about how you can improve your life visit holy places go to rameshwaram take bath in the 22 holy wells visit rath yatra which is going on in jagannath puri now <laughs> okay and then so many other places are there you can go to tanjabur oh my god that's such a big shivling which is there do you know in tanjabur if you don't know then please google it and make sure you visit it <laughs> once okay then you can go to dwarka you can go to mathura you can go to vindavan then you can also go to the holy land of tirumala hills and what about kanchipuram you can stay there <laughs> if i had the chance i wish i could stay there and then when we are meeting people in the day we can discuss about all these things that we are talking yes we can form gr form groups of like minded people like that and by that our spiritual life will improve and there you go that is why it is signifying the ninth house of spirituality and always pray to our gurus and take their blessings and always we should keep asking them if we can do something for them we can help them in some way yes <laughs> not just suck their time by asking questions but we we should also try to contribute something back to to whoever is giving us knowledge it can be any kind of contribution monetary or whatever either ways you can call up your guru and say hey my dear guru maharaj <laughs> is there anything i can do for you then he may say oh yes take this 10 bhagavad gitas and go and distribute why not do that yes don't go to the mall one day don't watch a movie one day the world is not going to collapse because rishabh dev says to bharat maharaj in the fifth canto of shrimad bhagavatam who is the most illustrious of all of his sons tapo divyam putra kayena satvam that if you do tapasya tapo divyam putra kayena satvam satva guna will increase inside you yes and there in that fifth canto in that he also says that when you serve great souls mahat sevanam api dwara vimukteshu the doors to liberation open so by that it is signifying the 11th house of desire fulfillment of desire and the 9th house of spirituality and whatever you have pass it on to your subordinates that is why it signifies the fifth house not that you put your son or daughter on a iit or a mit that is not the reason why it is signifying of course you also need to do that <laughs> give the your children a good education yes and then seventh house oh my god love romance <laughs> no that's not the reason seventh house has venus as the significator which shows love romance intimacy connection but jupiter shows the higher purpose of marriage dharma yes as the word vibaha vivaha means vahan to go towards vishnu a sanyasi is also having marriage and a normal grihastha is also having marriage the both are going towards god only but the only difference is the sanyasi is going to towards god alone and the grihastha is going towards god by marrying okay so that's the difference but the aim is spirituality anything else remaining is it the karaka for any other house maybe 10th house 10th house is the karaka ha house of actions do spiritual activities all right so there you go second house of beliefs faith our sanskaras cultivate good sanskaras increase the mode of goodness that is how it is signifying then fifth house children make may, uh, inspire your children to take up spiritual practices the other day i was talking to a surgeon in usa and i was amazed my god the mantras his son, his son is doing i was like wow <laughs> of course i also gave him so many other mantras to do but then he said oh he is already doing this 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 i was like <laughs> it's too much man stop it <laughs> <laughs> no i'm just joking i told him you can tell him to chant these mantras also so fantastic you see staying in a country like america and 
ensuring that your children is carrying out the, the tradition wow fantastic wonderful beautiful and ninth house is the house of seniors gurus anybody who is giving you divine knowledge so respect them give something back to them and try to help them and 11th house is the house of desire and as lord krishna says in the gita at the end of your life if you remember me you will come back to me without fail and once you return reach there and you will not come back to this material world yad gatvana nivartante taddham paramam mama yad gatva nani vartante you will not return taddham paramam mama once you reach param dham you will not return all right there you go that is what i wanted to say regarding jupiter that's what jupiter represents it shows material prosperity but that's something which is hidden that's not the main agenda primarily its agenda is spirituality that is why it is considered to be the most greatest of all benefics that is why it is the greatest of all benefics unconditionally it is the greatest yes now some sources say that parashara said oh venus is even more benefic but benefic the word is interpreted <coughs> in a wrong way they say venus is more somnia somnia means one who gives th- gives you things more easily but that doesn't mean necessarily it is benefic yes venus might give you things very easily more easily than jupiter but that that doesn't mean that's necessarily going to be f- fulfilling for you in the long run you may get things what's the big deal but <coughs> jupiter is the greatest of all benefics that way and if we just improve this one planet all the aspects of our life can be taken care of okay so that is it i wanted to say from my side if you are new to the channel and if you have not yet subscribed then please subscribe to it and if you want a consultation then please go to my website you will find the link in the description of this video below and there you go if you like this video click the thumbs up and share it with somebody who is interested to know what jupiter is all right there you go until next time wish you good luck bye bye see you tata